Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Yes, today it's a Christmas special of um, Lawrence Plays GTA Manhunt and that means yeah, there's snow everywhere. We have in fact been dreaming of white Christmases for all of us. Now that means my choices of cars might be slightly different. As you can tell this MX-5 is all over the place because it's a light two-wheel drive sports car. Um, that Jeep down there is probably quite a good shout if I can get to it. So let's try. Let's try that Jeep. I did I was messing around earlier a little bit with, um, with, no, not the Mini. Go and get the Jeep. Oh my God. Right, I was messing around earlier with some of the other cars, and the radius was pitiful. The Sabre Turbo just, just didn't. <laughs> you put your foot down, and nothing at all would happen, or rather, a lot of would happen, but nothing, no sort of actual movement. You get a lot of wheel spin and not much else. The, um, the Felon was surprisingly good, so I might try and switch to one of those at some point. We'll see how it goes. Oop, that wasn't a green light for me. I uh, got distracted by the car next to me going. Oh, that's convenient. Now, the hunters will have had a bit more warning than I did about this. They've had at least 30 seconds, maybe 45, to get over here. So I think I can probably just go straight for this checkpoint. And I'm go so I'm going to. We'll call it a sort of a, a Christmas present to me, shall we? I'll go straight. For so I'll go o over here, and well, I won't. I won't charge through it. I'll wait for the lights to go green, but then I'll then I'm then I'm taking it. Hopefully the next checkpoint will be just as easy and just as close and just as everything else as this one. But I guess we'll wait and see. In the meantime, we have to watch out for hunters, see where they keep an eye out for them. Now they're all going to be driving their coupes, so uh, at least to start with, 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 with. We've said they've got to wait at least until I take the first checkpoint and we've had a chase um, before they before they switch to more practical cars. So they are hopefully going to be absolutely all over the place in the, in the snow because it is very slippery as that Voltic is showing. Um, here comes Pete. Ooh, and Tristan's having a bit of a slide going through there. So yeah, it's um, it's going to be a bit of an adventure for them. Put, let's put it that way. But uh, that just adds to the fun, really, doesn't it? If they're if they're driving around with a sort of a comedy of errors, then well, I'm all about. I'm all for that. There's Mike also parked in the uh, checkpoint. Let's take the checkpoint and just keep going, and then we'll hook a right here onto the highway. This is might be a bad idea because they're going to see where I'm going because of the circle, but. Yeah, I think that's probably something I can live with. If I go down here and then come off at the next exit, pull in front of that Voltic. I'm not taking a Voltic. That's just not going to go well for anyone, <clears throat> and especially me, and that's who I really care about. So, try and pull up here and pull a le right, no, left turn, the other one, the other right, like that. And I suppose I can probably stop at these traffic lights. Okay, so the other, oh, rails cross and oil fields. Those are both blooming miles away. Okay, well we can uh, we can go out and enjoy the um, enjoy the snow snowy conditions. Maybe have a snowball fight. Maybe just drive drive across the city and uh, see how it goes. So ooh, that looks like a very me-coloured um, felon there. I am actually I'm going to take that because that is it's in my colour. Oh no, here's Mike. Did he see that happening? Yes, he did. Okay. Well, I'm in a. <laughs> this is going to be uh, probably quite evenly matched because I've just switched out of my um, my Jeep into, into this into this felon because I did as I said in the sort of the pre-game testing I discovered that the felon was less bad than I expected it to be I had no brakes there though um, I say I had no brakes I did actually manage to stop the car so I obviously had some brakes anyway the felon was better than I expected it to be in the snow which means it's probably going to be a reasonably good one for doing this trying to do this fleeing in because I've got the speed and acceleration of the of the coupe um, I've got the terrible terrible grip let's try going the other way ooh I've been undered <laughs> I can't turn over turn over come on GTA physics don't abandon me now there we go thank you Windsor um, now hopefully you need a little bit of grip to get a three and a half ton monster up to speed and round corners and things. So I'm hoping that the uh, snow is really going to um, cause Tristan problems. We'll have to see how that goes though. I'm, as I said, I'm hoping that I'm going to have one of the better cars here because just oh, <laughs> crikey, yeah, corners are difficult even in even in this particular even in this one, which is um, one as I said, potentially one of the better ones. It was better than I, I tried the Windsor as well. This was better, did better than the Windsor, at least for corners and general driving and stuff. So I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm reasonably happy with my choice. As you can see, I'm I'm sort of getting away from them a little bit. 
The question is though, how do how do I actually make it stick and drift into trees? <laughs> yeah, you see, they're having exactly the same problem as me. There, they're going, they're getting, they're trying to steer and just ending up sliding and going into whatever scenery is around them. So this is um, going to be an interesting chase. Um, I mean, it's it's going okay so far in that I am not yet dead. Uh, <laughs> but it's not going brilliantly in that there are still a load of hunters behind me. But, you know, you can't have everything. So I'm going to do this trick up here where you slow down a bit and then roll the dice to see where you're going to end up. In this case, I'm going down here. Uh, Mike has also managed to do the same. I think I saw Tristan not coming up here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's still behind me. So I'm going to try and pull a nice... Ooh, that was almost a good handbrake turn. Oh, then Mike caught up with me. Damn it. <laughs> can I get going? Can I get going? Oh, there's a, um, there's a, a radius in my colour as well. How lovely. Um, I should probably have just kept my foot down on that... Um, on that on the highway there and tried to get a bit further away from them and then taken an exit that didn't involve... Oh, didn't involve me t doing a handbrake turn like that. Thank you, Pete. That's just what I needed. Um... That was what Mike would refer to as a get down Mr. President moment, I think, where one of the hunters flies in and uh, boots me off to safety. So let's try and take this corner a little bit more slowly. Maybe the, I was going to say maybe the answer is to not drive quite so quickly. But if I drive more slowly, then the hunters will catch up with me, and that's not going to help. Because if the hunters catch up with me, then I'm in trouble. But if I'm driving a little bit more slowly, I can take the corners a bit more sensibly like that. It's almost like, you know, actual real driving in the snow. If you slow down a bit, things tend to go a bit better. So maybe I'll try and stick with that sort of theory. And while I'm down here in Ghetto, I'll keep my eyes peeled for a um, some sort of SUV again. Not the Radius, though, because that one was terrible in the snow. And to be honest, the Galavanta wasn't much better. I think I want to find something. I definitely don't want a muscle car or a FedEx truck. <laughs> um, that one over there would probably have done, but it's a bit too far away, and I want to carry on moving. Oh, Mark has caught up with me while I was driving slowly. Carefully. Carefully. Now I'm sort of stuck bet between them. This is problematic. They're going to start shooting any minute now. Oh, now. Maybe they don't want to get out in the cold. Perhaps that's, that's, that's what's going on here. The hunters are uh, trying to, wanting to stay in, the, in their nice warm cars rather than getting out to shoot me. So I'm surviving a bit longer than I normally would. Um, Mike is still there, so I won't take the jump. What's that? I don't know what happened there. Someone just appeared in the road in front of me. I almost drove for him, assuming it was sort of one of the hunters trying to get out of the car or something. Oh, no. That's gone wrong. Back again. I don't know. Just in case he was a hunter. Things have not gone well for that guy, anyway, whoever he was. <laughs> okay, we'll take, take the jump, take the jump, take the jump. Oh. On the wall. Where are the hunters? I can't tell. I can't get my camera to point. Ah, they're shooting. One of them has brave. decided to brave the cold, then to get out of his car. That's brave and possibly foolish. I seem to still have um, all of my tyres, so that's that's a good sign. Right, let's try and... Let's hope that I've now got a little bit of freedom and I can get off into ghetto and then try and switch into a different vehicle, one that actually has most of its body panels and ideally a little bit of traction in the snow. Um, like, like maybe that one. Where are they? I don't see them behind me. Okay, I'm switching. I'm going to take this one because it's a, it's a fairly generic sedan type vehicle. So I'm going to hope that maybe it's going to be, maybe it'll even be front wheel drive if I'm lucky, and that'll get me a bit, that'll get me the extra grip I need. Right, so I have lost the hunters, so that means I can realistically go for the checkpoint. Um, they are shooting though, so I'm going to go like a panicked AI, hopefully, and just run straight through it. As a there's a, a green a green light there. Let's take that. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Okay. So that was a bit of a mission to get that one. That was quite a chase. I um I don't know whether they were trying to. Be, I, I I think the um the, the the conditions the weather conditions might. Oh, is that a stratum? 
that might be good in the um, in these conditions. Am I safe? I mean, I parked on the railway line. I'm clearly not safe, but you know. Oh, for goodness sake! Why is Mark always there when I'm trying to change vehicles? No, it's Ninga. This is not what I wanted at all. I was wanted the one that's basically a Subaru Forester. This is not basically a Subaru Forester. Oh, that was a bad cho Ooh. That was a bad choice of cars. Um, my main best hope is that Mark is going to have all kinds of issues back there like that. And I'm going to be able to just carry on like this and wobble my way out of sight and out of mind. So let's go into this car park here. It's full of... Are they taxis? I don't think they are taxis. No, they're not taxis, but they look sort of slightly taxi-y. Okay, we're taking an SUV. Because anything else is probably silly. Whoa. I didn't even see what this one was when I got in it. A cavalcade. Okay, normally I absolutely hate these things. But let's see if um, in these conditions it will actually come into its own and be useful. So I'm really quite close to Doc's entrance. So let's go head over there and see what we can what we can uh, what we can find. So you might have noticed a um, a message pop up just then. Um, let's informing me that the hunters are now allowed to swap their vehicles. So we decided that the hunters had to stick with their coupes for the first. Um, for the, until I'd taken at least one checkpoint and we've had at least one chase. We've now definitely had that. So now the hunters are allowed to just pick up vehicles from the side of the road in much the same way that I am. If they do, they have to take the time to um, to recolour the vehicle in their personal colour and put, turn all the lights on, all that sort of thing. So it'll take them a moment or two to switch, switch vehicles. They'll, they'll be a little bit slower than I am doing that. Um, but they will be able to. They are now allowed to use um, SUVs if they see them. So there's Pete. He's abandoned Pete's car, rather. He's clearly abandoned it and decided to go for something else. So I might see down here. I might see a horrific green cavalcade or radius or um, uh, what's the Galavanta? That's the uh, the Range Rover, isn't it? Uh, so any any of those sort of things. He's. They are now allowed to drive them because we reckon that whilst it would be interesting to see what the um, what the coupes were like in this in the snow it would be a bit silly to make them use them for the whole run um, because it might just not work from their point of view they might not be able to use the realistically use the cars so yeah it's going to be interesting we're going to see some other stuff around I mean we, we even relax the rules as far as to say they're allowed to use sports and supercars if they want to so I don't think they're going to want to because I would expect a sports or supercar to be even worse than the um, than the coupes in the snow, but if they think that um, all speed and no cornering would, would makes good makes for a good combination, then they're um, they're welcome to use it. Try it if they want. So I guess we shall find out. Now airport loop exits. So let's have a quick map map check. Right. Okay. If I carry on up here and get rammed from behind by Mike, who's being remarkably um, tenacious and sticking with in sticking with his um, F620. I'm quite impressed. Um, right, so I'm not sure what gave me away there. Possibly I was still sitting still when the car in front of me started moving again. Um, but somehow he he, re he realised that was me. So I now need to try and flee. Now I have I have an SUV. It's not a very good SUV, granted it's a cavalcade, but it should be better in these conditions than his car. Uh, so, apparently what I'm going to do is get onto a massive bridge that's essentially a straight line. Um, this is probably not the way to escape, but we're going to try it anyway and see what happens. It is going to make it difficult for the other hunters to come flying in from random directions. Yeah, so he's caught up with me now quite easily. See if I can give him a pit. Oh. <laughs> All right, I did. I didn't. Didn't pit him hard enough. He's um. He's back with me again. But I am heading over towards the airport now, which is where one of the um, one of the choices for the next checkpoint is. So he's going to be telling the rest of the hunters that I'm going there, that I'm on the massive bridge. I'm going to try and harass him when he tries to harass me, and we'll see how it goes. 
I don't know if uh, I don't know if the um, end or breaking maneuver is the right tactic here because it does slow me down quite a lot and lets Mark catch up like that. So it probably wasn't the right idea. I probably should have just kept going because now there's two of them. Um, but maybe I'll be able to play some sort of some form of shenanigans down here and see how this goes. <laughs> maybe Mark will do that as well. That'll, that'd help. If I go off here slowly, then I won't fall in the water, he says, hopefully. Alternatively, I will fall in the water and have to get out of the car and, and go for a frozen swim. Swim, you bozy. I mean, this, this can't be good for me. Especially as it's bound to be... Run! Right, okay. That was did not go as planned. Um, I think another swim is going to be in order if I can remember how. Ah, this is bad. Dive. How do you dive? I've forgotten how to dive. Oh, goodness sake. I should know better than to go in the water because I can never remember how to swim and it's freezing so it's also a bad idea. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a good Christmas and um, enjoyed the episode. <laughs>
So I checked last, yep, he's exited the motorway at five ways, he's turned south. He is re-entering the highway, he's not entirely voluntarily this time. Whereabouts? Uh, back uh, art to gallery. gallery. Art gallery, heading south. south. Still heading Straight south. south. Next Turning left. left. Heading east at Red Car Park. Passing Red Car Park, south side Red Car Park, still heading east. Turning south, Turning south at construction Red site. Construction. Yes. Ah, uh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> oh, you will be. I have lost him. Still heading south. Still Can't control the winds in normal conditions, that lens snowy. South again. You still see him? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, you set uh, arena, uh, heading east. I said. Now. Ah. I'm on the floor. Stand up. Just that thing happened. <laughs> he's still heading round the arena. He's turned right here, um, uh, 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 keeping right, just 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 following arena. Circling he's now the heading arena. northwest. Yeah, circling it onto the uh, whatever this highway thing is. It looks like a highway junction. Uh, oh, uh, he's back. Well, he's he's done a complete loop of the arena. He's he's backed up. He's hard one eighty. Hard one eighty. Going back. Uh, the the. That way, Tristan, yes. Are you? Uh, heading east, south side of the arena. Hey. Okay. I'm on the highway heading over to you. Jump. Bring a jump. Take a jump. Uh, I'm in here. Ah. There he is, going into the car park. Hello. See you under the tunnel. Logic, that's the only place he can have gone. Uh. And then I assume he's gone. Yeah, this up the way. hill. Yeah. I can't see him. No, I've you lost eyes too. No, lost eyes. I can't see him anymore. Heading towards Ghetto from the circle. Yeah, circle is not. I've turned right to the petrol station. Didn't want to go different ways. Okay, uh, I'm going to go that, soft him. right. You found him. Good work. Whereabouts? Uh, not him, but I oh, know I found his car. Not sure. Him. Oops, I've got a gang attack. I'm dead. Yeah, I found the car as well. So presume what? Spot of weight reduction. Don't recognise that one. I mean, you say it. Do I? He's taking uh, yeah, I, I'm being shot at. I, I, I say it when I've lost bits off the car, not when I've been killed. Okay. So if I do this, that'd be really unhelpful. Uh, it takes a solid six seconds to get from standing to actually moving. Uh, I think I s just saw him changing cars into a station wagon. Then south near canals. I'm hobbling to the checkpoint. Uh, when you say canals, do you mean the storm drain? Uh, yes. Uh, did you turn right there? Uh, probably, heading south. Heading westish, northwestish. Lost him. There's this trail of carnage behind you. Because I am probably a little on the slow side now. Uh, oh, is that. Does that behave horribly? Do we have any kind of character model for him? Nope. 
I've got a car rammed a couple of times, which is now making off at speed. Uh, yes, I see. But it doesn't behave quite badly enough so to be locked. heading off at speed. North, northeast. Yeah. Uh, I'm heading south. Unlikely. On the highway road. Yeah, curling so it round out of the um, the bridge. Yeah, this could well be him then, because I'm keeping half an hour in slope when it's doing the same kind of thing. Whereabouts are you now? Uh, on the yep, he's just ended on me on the um, bridge over the, uh, the the big bridge. Hey. The, the, the oh, is that you, Pete? Bridge. Yeah, it's you. Bridge. Uh, still continuing on the highway. Heading east or west? Uh, heading northwest right now. I can't get over to you nearly fast enough. So we are cross, um, basically approaching the water over towards the airport now. Yeah, still on that highway, on the big bridge over. Yep, he's just endored me again. Yeah, this is definitely him. Uh, hard 180, due to a crash. He's trying to hard 180 again. Yep, that, that one, Mark. Still proceeding northwest. Still on the highway. Yeah, uh, great SUV. For uh, reasons of improving traction in the corners, I've had my front two wheels rotated by about 45 degrees. Um, oh, the tops come on as well, yeah. Oh, I got stuck in the um, docks. That's not helpful. Wait, that's not him. Wait, uh, it, uh, uh, did he take the jump? Uh, I didn't see uh, you take the jump. Oh, He's taking the jump into the water. He's out. He's swimming. Uh, Shoot him! I'm in the water as well. He's on that tyres thing in the oh, middle. Oh, thing. Yeah. I'm uh, nearly at a point where I have a view of it. He's swimming for the... Any description is useful now. Uh, ah, got him. He, he's the one with the bullet in the back of his head. <laughs> Someday I'll learn that I don't know how to swim. <laughs> Play is not that day. Oh dear. Do you want to Doesn't go and get in the water and learn how to swim? I probably should, but I can't be bothered right now. Um, I did. Yeah, I I didn't mean to go in the water. Actually, I was my I was attempting to go off there slowly enough to drop onto the road, but uh, it was not to be.